episode. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? We have a great show for you tonight. Evan Bennett is here, the director of the Springfield Ballet. And we also have a performance by said ballet, the Springfield Ballet. Yeah. I'm guessing it will be great. We also have a great title sponsor, OTC. Check out their original commercial from 1991. Hello, Bob. What's cooking this September? Well, Grandpa, I'm going to school at OTC, the new technical college. That's part of the Ozarks Community Technical College, Dad. I'm taking an evening class. So am I. At those prices, you can't beat it. Now I'm interested. You can never get enough education, especially these days. And at our age, the VIP program lets us go free. OTC, serving up quality education for you. <laughs> it's a great... It's a great commercial. It stood the test of time. But we wanted to make it a little peppier. Check it out. I hear you're going to OTC this fall. How'd you decide that? They gave me this t-shirt. Boop. <laughs> OTC offers a wide array of classes that will prepare you for a career. Yeah, but also the t-shirts. It's an affordable education. Don't forget the t-shirts. They're soft. I like that they have classes for people of all ages. That's right. It's never too late to continue your learning. I feel like I'm wearing a cloud. OTC, we have t-shirts. <laughs> we have t-shirts. I've watched that so many times, the original, and it's always funny. <laughs> Speaking of always funny, Dave Podium Smith. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? Um, I'm trying to think of a really cool thing to, to make podium into a word. I'm podiumtastic, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> if you can even see it, there it is. There it is. I really like it. I just, I can't get enough of it. At times, I feel like a failed politician, but other... The fiscal year. But then all the other times, I feel like a really good sidekick. All right. You just gotta let him work into it, and then he gets going. All right, let's do things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. What's that muscle you pull when you're spinning around? <laughs> Ow. Something's out of place. All right, these are Christmas-themed things I've noticed. Oh. I've noticed that if you give someone socks but put them in their stocking, that might be an act of cannibalism. <laughs> I've noticed that anyone that gets a gift of those five-finger shoes deserves one more finger. <laughs> it's harsh. It's harsh. Harsh. I've noticed that the holiday season seems to last months, but Christmas Day seems to last only two hours. <laughs> we have a child writer. I've noticed that Cyber Monday was probably really boring in the 90s. <laughs> I've noticed that I imagine that whenever people say, save the trees, that Christmas trees are like, hey, what about us?
I've noticed that the most wonderful time of the year is not Toys R Us on Black Friday. Yeah. Things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. All right, well, it's time for us to play America's favorite game. It's time for Oh Christmas Treason. Now what we have here is we have two contestants. They each have a person with them who is dressed as a tree or as close as we could get to it. What's going to happen here, guys, is I'm going to ask you questions. When you get one right, you get a good thing to decorate your tree with. When you get one wrong, you get a bad thing to decorate your tree with. And then in the end, we will have a judge determine which tree is better. And of course, our judge, as always, is Westworld's Ptolemy Slocum. <laughs> There he is. Yeah. He's just over there drinking eggnog. So what we'll do is we'll ask you questions, and then at the very end, we will uh, have you guys decorate your trees as fast as you can. Uh, contestant number one, what's your name? I'm Garrett. And what is your tree's name? Uh, this is Corey the Tree. Corey the Tree, all right. And sir, what's your name? Zach. Zach, and what's your tree's name? Amy the Tree. Amy the Tree, all right. Very good, okay. Round one, you guys will be playing to decide if you're gonna put garland on your tree or toilet paper. Right. If you think you know the answer, ding the bell. All right, here we go. Question number one. What do Christmas trees remove from the air? Pollen? <laughs> Correct, it's dust and pollen. Woo! Very good. You get garland, sir. Thank you. You get toilet paper. Do not decorate yet. Resist the urge. <laughs> Question number two. You guys ready? One of you is. Okay. <laughs> All right. In which country did the Christmas tree originate? Germany. Germany is correct, very good. I forgot to say what you were playing for ahead of time. But you guys both get candy canes. Now here's the deal. You get to put the candy canes on your tree using your hands. You put the candy canes on your tree using just your mouth. All right, grab your candy canes. Very good. How are you feeling about this, sir? You know, it's okay. That's what I usually say after Christmas as well. <laughs> All right, this is the final question. And you'll be playing to decide whether or not you're going to put a star on your tree topper or if you're going to put a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful chicken. There it is. I enlarged both of the holes this morning myself so you can stick it upon the topper like a normal person. Star or chicken? Okay. All right. You need to win one. Yeah, I do. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Like I want the chicken. I like his answer. We're doing this wrong. Okay. <laughs> Final question. I'm putting this center. All right. Final question. What sound does a reindeer make? The sound a regular deer makes. I want to hear the sound, sir. <laughs> And, uh, sir, what sound does a reindeer make? Clippity clop. <laughs> All right. I'll give you what you want then, the chicken. <laughs> All right. You guys, grab your utensils. You have less than a minute to decorate your tree as best you can. On your mark. Get set, go! Cheer them on, everybody.
We have Garland and toilet paper. Like a tree, like a tree. Less than a minute. All right, mouth boy, you gotta do the candy canes. With your mouth! Don't use your hand at all. Topper. You can hold the helmet. You can hold the helmet. All right, time is up. Time is up. Put your hand down and we want to be able to see your face. Oh, there we go. Do not move. All right. All right. Westworld's Ptolemy Slocum. You've had a chance to see both. Who do you think should win? Jeff, I am the wrong person to ask. <laughs> who, who would not want a tree that also serves as lunch? Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. I have to give it to the toilet paper tree. That toilet is paper tree! Bring it on over! That is just... You get... Eggnog. Congratulations. That's how we do. Oh, Christmas treason. We'll be back with Evan Bennett. Stay where you are. That comedy bit brought to you by Bush, Ramlow and Shore, CPAs. Guest booking provided by Big Salad. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, we have a great guest tonight. We also have a great guest sponsor. MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. I don't know what's wrong with me. We have a great guest tonight, and he is the director of the Springfield Ballet, which is a great ballet. Please give it up for Evan Bennett. Evan! <laughs> This Go is great, and yeah. this doesn't happen to me normally. Everyone's looking at you right now. Well, I mean, that does happen every, yeah. normally, but you know, <laughs> the, the screaming and the yelling, that doesn't happen to me. Right, normally. well, it happens for me a lot. Well, good. <laughs> Not good screaming or good yelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is! Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've run away from you before, but. Yeah. Well, I would like to compliment you on your attire tonight and all the time. Well, thank you very much. You're a well-dressed individual. <laughs> do you feel like this is part of uh, being the director of a ballet, or would you just do it if you were working at a gas station? I mean, I feel like working at a gas station would require a different outfit, mm -hmm. um, but I think I would still wear, I mean, the bow tie, I think, is one of the signatures. I personally am a big believer in the bow tie. A believer in the I bow tie? I am a believer in the bow tie, so I feel like no matter what you're doing, a bow tie will set you apart. I mean, whether <laughs> right. it's lawn work, um, which, lawn I, don't, work. which right. I don't do, right. um, but I don't have a lawn. With this no man with a bow tie does lawn work. No, 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 you have people to do that. You um, have people. I don't have people, but I've heard that people have people. Right. You've heard that people I've heard have that people. I've heard people have people. Because a bow tie says, yeah, I'm professional, but I'll also do jazz hands. That's right. <laughs> I did, you see. And you did. <laughs> did you know? On cue. Did you know? So tell me, so, there aren't many places, I don't know if this is true, my, my thought is there aren't many places this size that have a great ballet. Is it, is it unique? Uh, I mean, unique is kind of hard to say because I'd have to go to every mid-sized city in the right. United States. Um, I do think we're pretty unique to have the quality that we have. So, I mean, I think when you come to the Nutcracker, when you come to our spring production, I think, which also is an original show. So this year we're mm -hmm. doing Alice in Wonderland, Great. which is, yeah, Alice in Wonderland, we're really, really excited. But it's been completely originally choreographed. So, I mean, it, it's a unique experience to Springfield, and I do feel like that's something that we offer that you wouldn't find in every city. Right. Clap for that. Do you get, I wonder if you get asked this a lot. What's your dance background? Ha, um, 
My mom's in the audience. She's seen me dance. Um, and it's not pretty. Um, yeah. So my dance background is I grew up at the Springfield Little Theater. I was in yeah. Yes Troop. So any Yes Troopers out there? Um, and the first day they were like, well, everybody has to dance. The Yes Troop is three things. It is acting, it is singing, and it is dancing. And I was like, I don't know. That dancing thing may be a little rough. Um, you know what, I feel like I can appreciate it more because I know exactly how bad I am. Right. Like, exactly. So I mean, I, have, I can do one thing. I can stand in first position. Yeah. So I mean, I can, you know, that's, this is my one thing that I can do. <laughs> Look down there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but don't ask any coordination with that. that. That's about as far as it goes. So I want to talk about something important. Oh, no. I've been, I've done this show and been told, don't wear socks. And there are times when I haven't worn socks. And I'm told it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> in, mul in a multitude of ways. Yes. <laughs> How does it feel for you having your ankles just hanging out there for the world? You know what? I am actually a huge proponent of ankle nudity. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like... You know, you're yeah, otherwise pretty buttoned up. I mean, I feel like it's back to like the 1800s when you're like, well, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, right. that's something right there. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ankles gone wild. I, it's gonna, um, I, you know, I've thought about a YouTube channel for that. So, you know, keep on the lookout. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you have great ankles. Well, well thank you. I mean, you know, I've worked them out extensively, so. <laughs> Do ankle workouts in you preparation. Know, rolls on both sides. <laughs> Get out the Jane Fonda tapes. I, you know, I, mean, I don't actually have Jane Fonda tapes, but if I did, I'm sure she would do some ankles. I feel like we've gone off the rails. I, <laughs> so this is why we're supposed to have like a pre-interview interview. Right. No. I like. I hate the rails. I mean, man. You know. I, you, it's just too boring. It's, it's too predictable. Right. Are you from here, though? Yeah, you grew up, so you... Yeah, so I'm a transplant, actually. Um, so we moved around from... I started in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. um, and Heard then when I was eight, we moved here. Um, and then we moved back to Kansas City for two years and then back to Springfield. Um, and, you know, I was actually kind of miserable at the very beginning, but... This is where I believe in the power of musical theater. I was cast in Cinderella, okay. um, and I was the Herald. And I had, there were very bitter seniors that I was cast in this role, the prize role. I got to sing a song yeah. with words that I actually never remembered. Um, and, but honestly, I made friends in that show that I kept through the entirety of high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm a huge advocate of musical theater, too. So. Well, and it's something I always tell people if they're, if they're moving somewhere, I say, go take improv classes right. or something like that, because you, you create friendship. And just doing something like that, but then also, particularly in the arts, there's great, there's great support, and Springfield has we have great some, arts. We have some great arts. You sing. I, mean, I will say, I do sing. Well, I hear. I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's do it, bow tie boy! I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know what? So this is the Christmas episode, right? Oh, I mean, yes. the um, holiday episode. Holiday episode. The, the, yeah, the With universal, holiday trees. right? The holiday trees. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one of my favorite songs, so you may or may not know this about me, I yeah. lived in Austria for two years. Um, yeah. That's right. So I lived in the land of mountains and Julie Andrews, um, and I taught English. So obviously every year I taught a lesson on The Sound of Music because I felt like the Austrians had missed out on a part of their history. Um, <laughs> yes. Like, I was like, well, I mean, you all need to be wearing lederhosen and running up hills. And they were like, I don't know what you're talking about. So we would sing. So the one time, and this is really an audience thing, I think everyone yeah. needs to be involved. My favorite song is Edelweiss. Mm -hmm. How many of you know the song? So, I mean, can we take a moment and just sing a little piece of it? Yeah, we can sing a little piece because we don't have the rights to it. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Go ahead, Roger go ahead. And so everybody together, I'm not going to just do it alone. Um, so, and my, I know my friend Christy's out there somewhere, so belt it out. So. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning we greet you, I forgot the words, small and white, clean and bright, you look happy to meet me. <laughs> Nailed it! We'll be right back! There's a few of my 
favorite things. And we'll be back with another record. Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandervoort. Musical guests brought to you by Brian Properties. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get to our musical guests. And our musical guests tonight, they don't perform music, they dance to it. Please put your hands together for the Springfield Ballet performing a piece from the Nutcracker. That's our show, everybody. They were great. 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to the Harmony House. We will see you guys next week. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour. 